Hello, this is Lindy. Welcome. So, I'm going to do what all the cool booktubers are doing. I'm going to um, talk about my March TBR. There are so many readathons going on in March, and I am planning to um, read stuff from my shelves that I've been meaning to get to and get to some library books that either I've got out or I know are coming in on hold very soon and that are going to fit all of these different readathons. So we're starting with the Duathon, the Welsh, uh, Welsh readathon because March 1st is St. David's Day. Now this um, this, this one is actually hosted by a book blogger and has been for a long time. Her name is Paula Bardell Hetty, and her book blog is Book Jotter. Um, for her and for all of the other uh, people that I mentioned, I'm going to have links in the description box down below, so uh, look for that. So, uh, yes, one thing that I have been meaning to read for a really long time is the Mabinogion, which is um, a compilation of ancient Welsh tales. And they first compiled them, I think, in the 12th and 13th century. I've read other books that are, you know, based on these old tales, like the King Arthur stories, for example. Um, also, Alan Garner's Owl Service. That one is based on the one about the woman who was made out of flowers. Anyway, I'm really excited that I've decided to do this. I am going to listen to it, the um, uh, Naxos Spoken Word database, which I can access through our library. Um, it has, um, it's about 11 hours long, uh, unabridged, and it's read by Matt Addis. So I think I'll just listen to a little bit every day. And I also have a book by Conan Jones, Cove, skinny little book. I have had this for more than a year and it was a gift from Sean the Book Maniac. And this month, I'm gonna read it. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Irish Readathon. Uh, I've just got one so far, and it is a short story by Edna O'Brien called Christmas Roses, and it is in this anthology on garden writing that I've got on my shelf. It's called The Garden of Reading, edited by Michelle Slung. I'll probably read that on March 17th. Uh, the Irish Readathon is hosted by Leanne Rose and um, Aoife at Words of Clover. Next up, March Mystery Madness. That one is, oh, there's about 16 hosts for that. I'll, I'll include a link to Elizabeth, um, Lizzie Fay Loves Books. Um, she explains the whole March Mystery Madness stuff. They have got so much stuff going on. Um, I'm going to read at least one mystery. This one, again, I've had on my shelf for a while. What's the Matter with Mary Jane by Candace Jane Dorsey, who's an Edmonton author. And um, they do have a theme this, this year for March Mystery Madness, and it is two by two. This is the second in this mystery series. What's it called? Um, An Epitome Mis Apartments Mystery. And the, the amateur detective, uh, she's pansexual. Um, the first book was just chock full of puns. Um, so I'm expecting um, an amusing read with what's the matter with Mary Jane. And... March of the Mammoths. Okay, I don't have a physical copy. I'm on the waiting list for this one. It is the books of Jacob by Olga Tukarczyk, translated by Jennifer Croft. And um, so I've been on the library waiting list for the audiobook, which is uh, like 36 hours long. And 
I, I should be getting it in about three weeks, I think. And um, so the three people who are organizing March of the Mammoths, that's um, Jason, Old Blues Chapter and Verse, um, Alex of Big Al Books, and Lukash of A Cruel Reader's Thesis. Um, so they say as long as you start a mammoth book in March, that's fine. It's even fine if you uh, bail on it. <laughs> but I don't think I'll bail on the books of Jacob, but um, I don't think I'll get the whole thing finished in March. I guess it depends on how soon um, I get my hands on a copy of it. Um, their uh, uh, description of a mammoth book is one that is more than 800 pages long. And this book is close to a thousand pages, I think, so that definitely counts. I'm also doing a um, chunkster challenge on uh, Litzy, um, and I've already read the love songs of W.E.B. Du Bois by Jeffers, and that one is 816 pages, but I read that one in January. And I will continue with chunksters through the year, uh, but for March, it's going to be Books of Jacob. Then, uh, um, for one week, so between the 7th to the 13th of March, it's Coreedathon, and that is hosted by Monica Kim and Chloe of Books with Chloe. And, um, yeah, they've got all kinds of prompts, and um, it's about books and culture. So food is uh, one part of it, and I am planning on having some, at least one Korean meal. I love Korean food. And I have a book out from the library right now that's translated from Korean. It's a children's picture book called Moon Pops. Uh, it is by Hina Beck, translated by um, Jiun Kiar, and it is based on a Korean folktale. So I'm going to read that soon. You'll hear about it in one of my Friday reads. And uh, there have been there are a couple of books that I've had on hold at the library that I think are coming in. They'll be I think they'll be in in time for this um, week of Koreadathon or somewhere near it anyway. And that's um, a graphic novel called Grass by uh, Gendry Kim and Kyum Suk, translated by Janet, Janet Hong. So that one's nonfiction and it is about um, comfort women. So I think the story is uh, one particular uh, young woman who is forced into sexual slavery during the Japanese occupation of Korea. I think I'm also at the top of the hold list now for Winter in Sokcho by Elisa Shua Duasapin, Duasapin, and it was translated by Anissa Abbas Higgins. So, a little novel. Excited about that. Next up, um, Middle Grade March. Uh, I actually do read a fair bit of middle grade fiction and I just looked at what I had coming in on hold um, including, and this one fits their prompt, oh I should say who's organizing it, um, Amanda at Curly Reader uh, and, and there's more, actually I think there's a whole bunch of people who are involved in middle grade March. So anyway, um, for my YA book club, um, this one is, I think, for grade four to seven, so that fits with middle grade. Uh, we're going to be reading all 13, The Incredible Cave Rescue of the Thai Boys Soccer Team, and it's by Christina Suntornvat. And it fits their prompt of books with five or more words in the title. It just happens to. I'm also planning to read The Last Cuantista by Donna Barba Higuera. And that one is science fiction. Uh, it's set on a spaceship traveling to a new planet. And I'm also waiting for Temple Alley Summer by Sachiko Kashiwaba. 
Uh, so a Japanese middle grade novel that's translated by Avery Udagawa. And that fits their prompt for set in Asia. And I expect that within the next week or so, I'm going to get a copy of Robber Girl by Franny Billingsley. She also wrote um, Chime and the Folk Keeper. Um, she is not prolific, but boy, when she gets a book out, they are fantastic. And lots of adults um, really enjoy her books. So um, I think this, might, this one might also count for March Mystery Madness, because I think there's a mystery element as well as some fantasy. And it will fit the prompt for middle grade March. Uh, one prompt is books with an orphan main character. As far as I can tell, I think Robber Girl is an orphan. So there we go, middle grade March. And who knows, I might find a Korean middle grade novel as well, and maybe an Irish one. I don't know, we'll see. And finally, I just found out about Her story a -thon today. I heard about it from um, Elizabeth of Bouquin Books. And this is a um, Women's History Month uh, readathon organized by Brittany of Literarily Smitten and Charlotte of Coiny Reads. I was planning to celebrate International Women's Day with a bunch of um, uh, women focused books anyway. So I've already got these out from the library. So this one is a um, idea of the Benin Kingdom. And it's uh, a, about a historical figure, a 15th century warrior and queen. It is written by Ekua Ere, illustrated by Elena Shabelnik. So, uh, children's picture book. And another picture book, this one's about a 17th century Mexican woman called a library for Juana, and it is about Sor Juana Inez. She was a, a poet, a defender of women's education. She was an intellectual, an environmentalist. Um, this one is written by Pat Mora and illustrated by Beatrice Vidal. I've got uh, The Little Book of Feminist Saints by Julia Pierpont, and it's illustrated by Manjit Tap. So each, um, it's about one page for each uh, woman that's in here with a full page picture. There's Michelle Obama. So looking forward to reading that. And Brazen, Re Rebel Ladies Who Rocked the World by Penelope Bajieu. And um, it's something like Feminist Saints, except it's in graphic novel format. So there's, uh, what is this? For example, Las Mariposas, who are uh, the sisters from the Dominican Republic. The translator of this one is um, Montana Kane. Montana Kane, yes. So those are just a few of the books that I'm planning to read in March. And are you like me? Do you have a great big TBR for March? Are you participating in any of these? Let me know and I'll make sure and um, keep track of your progress and please give me all comments. Love it. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.